Am I at your house, Curtis? Did I bang on your door and jump in there and grab tofu and shove it down your throat? It's gonna explode your insides. Well, that, Curtis, is your conscience talking. Learn how to think for yourself and not just repeat the same bullshit that everybody else says. We do. Are you okay with that, Curtis? Do you know what they used to do to the slaves? They would enslave them. Did you miss me? Oh, Miss Katie. Brave of you to step into this fully operational battle station. Turn me vegan? I think not. <gasps> Once again, you compare slavery to the lives of animals. Except this time, it was a direct response to me. The more sexiest chant to ever walk this earth. Mm. Well, that's what my uncle says about me anyway but never in front of anyone else for some reason. So we are indeed in for a juicy video today, ladies and gentlemen. Grab a snack and a beverage and uh, sniff your toes if you're a freak. Subscribe everyone, because you know that 100K is indeed inbound. And of course, leave a like and comment for the algorithm, or else I will kidnap your nan and force her to watch the human centipede. So everyone, let's get right into it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that vegan teacher is indeed an influencer who attempts to spread a message that people should become vegan. However, in the process of spreading that message, she did indeed create a certain amount of controversy, such as comparing the lives of animals to humans, comparing it to slavery, which started in the 1600s, saying that if you are a part of the LGBTQ community and you don't like oppression, then you should turn vegan. Because apparently becoming vegan solves all of your problems, and it also attracts a lot of women as far as I've heard. My wife left. Because apparently she preferred the look of my hung guinea pig. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why I kept them in separate cages. However, ladies and gentlemen, she also made a song outside of McDonald's trying to convince them to change McDonald's menu to all vegan food. Hello? Yeah. Uh, I found your grandma. Yeah, she's missing. Yeah, she's outside of McDonald's playing on the fucking guitar right now. I don't know. She's singing some shite. Yeah. Probably take her back to the old folks home before it's too late, huh? Yeah, don't worry. They're all like that on our age. Oogly boogly! Oogly boogly boo! <laughs> What the fuck? But the platform that she posts all of her content on on controversy is indeed the one and only TikTok. It used to be TikTok until her account got removed. <gasps> Sorry, everyone, we're on a low budget today. I have to do my own sound effects. <laughs> However, she once did post a TikTok on there that apparently animals' lives are more important than human lives. All lives matter to me. Stop all animal testing, all of it. Even if it means that us humans will die. Even if it means that we will ourselves suffer. This is indeed the end of human civilization as we know it. The animals are in charge now, and they're coming to fuck us. What? Once again, I have nothing against vegans, and I also have nothing against that vegan teacher. But if becoming a vegan gave me the ability to pee while standing up, then I would definitely do that. That's quite the attribute. You know men can already pee while standing upright. Wait. Seriously. But in case you are new to the channel, I have previously made a video on that vegan teacher where we spoke about a lot of her antics. So if you haven't seen it, it's probably worth checking out. Or don't, but do be warned, I will get angry. And you don't want to see me get angry. Mmm. Mmm, these fucking hell, these are good. However, ladies and gentlemen, that vegan teacher did indeed respond. <gasps> oh, <-y! laughs> I've really got to stop this, like, can I, shall I just stop being myself, because I think that that's probably necessary, you know. I don't think the internet's ready for me yet. <laughs> I'm a very random guy, okay? I could say something, and then I will say something after it, which will not relate to the first thing I just said. I can do random things at any point. But she did indeed make a video on me, and that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. But she made a little lovely presentation on me, about my presentation, as she likes to call it. But it was more humiliating than anything. I felt like I was going up in front of the class in year 7 again, and making a presentation about my hero. Let me tell you, it definitely wasn't that vegan teacher. I think my presentation was on either PewDiePie or Nicolas Cage. 
two very different people. And the pure sheer of entitlement she had in that video, she may as well have just titled it, I did not laugh for 35 minutes. She made me feel extremely useless, like a broken condom. Like a deaf man trying to listen to a broken record player. How does that work? Why does Curtis Price hate animals so much? <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's a bold statement. Damn, the girth on that statement. I think if anyone hates animals, they're probably known as the children of Satan. How can you hate an animal? Look at this guy. He's so lovely, I could eat them. Well, not like that. It's like cute, you know? Likes and dislikes are turned off. <laughs> well, of course they are. But let's read some of the comments before we get into it and meme some. Yes! Whoa, you are so good at roasting students' presentations! I hope Curtis Price is watching this video. He could do a better presentation next time. Yeah, do a better presentation next time. I mean, everyone else seemed to like it. <laughs> but you, apparently, it's alright. We do have some people who are just so far up their ass that they'll never like anything that I make. And that's okay. And also, you're so good at roasting your students' presentations. I don't think I've ever walked into a class and seen a teacher roast their fucking students. But I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that is pretty badass. All right, little Timmy, how's it going, all right? Oh, let's see you. You're looking a little short today on your test score. Ah! <laughs> yes, because he's short. Yes. Roast it. Yeah, roast it. All right, Millie. Nice presentation. More like a boring t-shirt. <laughs> Roast it! Roast it! But seriously, let's get uh, straight into the video. Can't wait to watch this. I'm sheer shaking with excitement. That didn't make sense. Anyway, yeah. So, today, everyone, I guess we're making a video on a 50 year old woman with dementia. 56. I'm gonna be putting an X every time he says something that's untrue on my paper here. So, I just got an X for that because he got my birthday wrong. Did she, did she just give me an X because I got her age wrong? Wow. But yo, I think we're doing this wrong, everyone. If Miss Katie believes she can pull me back into the school system, which I tried so hard to get out of, then perhaps we should demonstrate to her a real test. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back to school. Hello, hello, and welcome class to People Be Moving Mad 101. In this session today, we shall be reviewing a presentation made by a 64-year-old woman. 63 if we're being generous. I, I really want to apologize for that. Excuse me, mini lads, I am talking! The only voice that should be heard in this classroom is mine, no one else's. Let's begin class with her presentation, that vegan teacher. In today's video, we will be talking about another middle-aged bully. An influencer who stalks well, other know. YouTubers. That's old enough Stalking? to be my great grandmother. No. And that woman is known as that vegan teacher. <laughs> That's me. What? It can't be. She's the Sith Lord we've been looking for. Class, I literally just trolled her. Massively. If you haven't seen Star Wars a little less than a few, this is Darth Sidious, aka Chancellor Palpatine, who is secretly a big daddy. No, big baddie. Sorry, it's big baddie. Bad guy. No, no, no. So, as you can see, she claimed that was her. Yeah, that, that, that's her. What can I say? I'm a bad man. <laughs> There'll be no laughter in today's session, thank you very much. Settle down, kids. That was creepy. A 56-year-old woman is on famous birthdays before me. <laughs> and he's upset because I made it to famous birthdays before he did? Um, the goal here is not fame. Curtis. This, uh, this is painful to watch. I'm now gonna proceed with a take off the glasses, disappointed look. Mm -mm -mm. You get an X for that, vegan teacher. Ooh, he's really done there. Mm -mm -mm. This class is indeed the face of a dry sense of humour. Almost as dry as Prince Philip. Not as dry but almost. So for an elderly woman to be on famous birthdays before a sexy stud like me, quite the insult. Actually doesn't sound as, uh, as funny when I explain it. Just, just, uh, she just butchers it. Another X for that, for butchering my joke. Oh, 
That's fucked. Ah, oh, yes. Now my legendary skit. This should be good. You are pretty on the outside and literally on the inside of you are the dead bodies. Why does she look confused? This Miss Katie is known as a skit. Probably don't know because, you know, you get it on in age and everything. But this is a skit. It's called Actin. Oh, this was from when I made a video about somebody over there on TikTok whose name is, Vi what's her name? Um, literally Violet or something like that. Literally, literally something. And I said that she was literally pretty because she was saying, I'm so pretty. And I said, yes, but on the inside, you're ugly because you are deliberately eating the dead bodies of animals and paying people to hurt chickens. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't very good for uh, people's self-esteem. Uh, you see you right there? You're pretty good looking. But you are fucking disgusting on the inside. You're ugly and it makes me sick. That probably isn't good for people's self-esteem because usually of those ages, they're pretty insecure. I'm pretty sure you just didn't help anyone there. Also, she said they are deliberately eating animals. I don't think anyone would eat a cheeseburger by accident. Get an X for that. <laughs> I love my job. <sighs> it was just a dream. <laughs> I really thought for a second that, that she was gonna explore my insights. Unlucky for me. I was gonna explode your insides. Well, that, Curtis, is your conscience talking. It was a skit, it was a joke. You know, if you wake up or you think about me and you feel bad, it's because you know that it's wrong to hurt animals for no reason, Curtis, so this is good. You're gonna start to get it, you know? It takes a hundred clicks until you're vegan. It has to hit your head, it has to hit your heart. No, it takes a hundred clicks uh, until I go fucking insane watching this video. Um... That was a hundred clicks. I got insane! Oh, that's normal too. Distorting the image of the person who is sending the message helps you to feel better, to turn me into some sort of a monster. It's not okay to pay people to hurt animals. Pigs are executed in gas chambers, Curtis. Every time that you eat bacon, sausages, or ham, that's what you're doing. That's not okay. I would never kill an animal myself, but in Miss Katie's eyes, if I pay for sausages in the shop, I killed a pig. That's right, I am a murderer. I slaughtered that pig with my bare hands. That didn't happen, all right? I bought some fucking pork sausages. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but that vegan teacher, as you can see, is a very dedicated woman yes. to being vegan. Yes, thank you, good. You get a check mark for that. Yes! So much that she loves to attack anyone who isn't. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, this is when I was pretending, uh, going along with a skit because, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people were saying, oh, my friend died because, because they followed your advice, which is total bullshit. And everybody knew that this was a joke. It says, never listen to any teachers. But Curtis, what are you doing? Come on. No, what are you doing? <laughs> This is what you call a skit? Bruh, come on, that, that deserves a bruh. And like a low bruh. I'm sorry, but you say what am I doing? Bruv, you turned my skit into something that wasn't a skit anymore. This is what you call a skit. Come on, Miss Katie. I feel terrible. Oh my God, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? A carrot? I love how she finds her own skit funny as well. <laughs> That's the worst bit of this. Uh, okay. A carrot? And according to her... There you go, distorting my image again. That's what you do when you know that I'm right. Nope, once again, it was a Call of Duty Zombies meme, which you wouldn't know of because you are 72. <laughs> distorting my image again. <laughs> Slavery is the same as eating meat. <laughs> Fun, I went to your- Okay, so slavery is the same as eating meat. That is what I am saying, Curtis, let's be clear. Um, is that I am saying that regardless of your race, your gender, your color, your religion, whatever, you can strive to be vegan. And if you are oppressed, if you are a member of a dark-skinned community and you find that you are oppressed, you feel oppressed, then your job is to not oppress others because you know what that feels like. If you're a member of the LGBTQ community 
and you know what it's like to be oppressed, then hello, wake up and don't oppress others. Don't step on the neck of an animal and snuff the life out of that animal while yelling, I'm so oppressed. Got it? That's my message. So the message is that if you are black and you don't like the racism or the oppression you received, then you should feel bad because of the animals that are receiving oppression. So you should become vegan for that reason. What? We can't compare slavery to the killing of animals. If you go up to a, a gay person or a black person and say, oh, hey, all the shit you're receiving, yeah, it's the same shit the animals receive. <laughs> That's not right. That's fucked. Your profile and noticed that you have dark skin. Maybe you call yourself black. <clears throat> Oh, does this bother you that I pointed that out, Curtis? How about you explain why? I hope you will. Um, yes, I will explain. I see in your profile picture you have dark skin. Perhaps you called yourself black. Uh, I don't think she calls herself pink. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. Perhaps you call yourself white? I don't know. I might be fucking orange. What, what are you trying to say? It doesn't make sense. Perhaps you call yourself black. <laughs> Comparing the years and years of suffering for black people. The years and years of suffering of animals by the trillions that continues at this very moment right now. Ah! People to animals. Oink oink motherfucker. The animal. Motherfucker? You want to fuck someone's mother? <laughs> now that is top comedy. I want to fuck people's mothers, apparently. <laughs> yes, I do. Excuse me? It was a joke, I'm sorry. You're an ex, apparently, for wanting to fuck people's mothers. That's fucked. That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, I love trolling people. I call someone a motherfucker, and apparently I want to fuck people's mothers. All right, that makes sense, doesn't it, everyone? Logic. As animals do have feelings, or else why would lovely peaches be roaming the earth? What? Who is this person? Are you saying that this black person is an animal? No, I'm not calling black people animals. I'm calling lovely peaches an animal because she's twerking in front of children in McDonald's. If you had educated yourself before this video, you'd know who she is. She pretended that she killed her own child. Only animals do things like that. Mm, mm, mm. You get an X for that, Miss Katie. I'm giving you an X for that because in your presentation it must be clear what you're trying to say. And, and I don't know what that is. Yeah. It was clear enough. The point is, is that you are not the fan of the Curtis Price channel. If you was, you'd know who she is and you know why I called her an animal. Once again, she pretended to kill her own child. She pretended to sell her child to older men. Only animals do things like that, Miss Katie. And I don't mean like animals, I mean like animals, you know, vicious ones. <laughs> Disgusting ones. You should have educated yourself, Miss Katie, before you came on this channel. I am disappointed. I am dis- uh, Pointed. Well, uh, she's actually a teacher to begin with. Uh, Miss KD is a TikToker with 1.2 million followers and an animal rights. You say 1.2, but then it says 1.6 here. So you got my age wrong, and then you got it right, and then you got this wrong, but then you're showing the right information. And I went up to 1.7 million, actually, in the end. Whoa, all right, sorry, boy. Didn't mean to get your followers wrong. Sorry. You didn't have 1.6 million, you had 1.7. <gasps> the goal here is not fame. I thought you said this wasn't about fame, Miss Katie. But clearly you are someone who pays attention to numbers. <laughs> Isn't that odd? Of what vegans are like. And you know what? Vegans aren't like this. Couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, that's not true. Being vegan is a personal choice. And those people who are vegan don't really try and turn other people vegan. Um, yes, they do, you're all, wrong. like drama and harassing on the internet if that yes they do that is a vegan's job a vegan's job is to speak out on behalf of the animals and make people feel uncomfortable when they are eating dead animals at the table that's a vegan's job that's not that's not right people become vegans as a personal choice for them so you're telling me you're gonna 
come to my house and sit at the dinner table with me and you're gonna make me feel uncomfortable for eating a steak. What business is it of yours to make me feel uncomfortable in my own house at my own dinner table about what I eat? My choice! Not yours. It's mine. Let's get one thing straight, all right? Don't fuck, all right? Just don't fuck. That's all I'm saying. She hates everybody. Um, not everybody. I do not hurt, hate people who are part of the solution. Yo, literally. Oh, she hates everyone. Cuts me off. Just cuts me off. Take my senses out of context, why don't you? Because that's what teachers do, right? What I'm trying to say, she hits everyone who eats animals. That's the full sentence right there. She takes a bit of my video and makes it fit her narrative. Yeah, just cuts me off right there. No context, just cuts me off. She hits everyone. No, wrong. Let me just mark you wrong. Now that's fucking bullshit. All right. I'm giving you an X for that. Taking me out of context. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this list is getting extremely long, <laughs> just like my cock. Interested? Call me Picasso, but, uh, so this, uh, is that vegan teacher, uh, she's getting banned here from TikTok because she's been communicating with underage people on there and harassing them and stalking them and talking about their schools and stuff, yeah, so that's her, she, you can see she's sad. Uh, and then this, this is, uh, me escorting her to McDonald's for a personal conversation. What the hell's going on here? So this is you with your big penis. That's right, Miss Katie. That is me with my big penis. <laughs> I can't believe we got her, these gentlemen. We got him. We got her. HOT! Yeah! And as she said, this is uh, you with your big penis, of course. Exactly, Miss Katie knows, Miss Katie knows. I have a big willy and everyone knows it. Law of attraction, um, if I obsess over something, maybe it'll come true. I can only hope one day that I have a hung cock. But listen up, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to make this video too long because I don't have the time of day for 35 minutes of content. And so the video will end here. Subscribe if you're new, because that way I will gain more subscribers and reach 100,000. Subscribe now. Subscribe today. Yes, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for a face reveal. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.